so now let's just implement the dialog box quickly so here above the widget build here I can implement the method I will just say display dialog box to this I mean this method will return our dialog box as I told you so we can say show dialog context will be context of the screen and then builder context simple dialog children so the first option that we will have is for the gallery picking video from the gallery so on the on rest we will send the user to the phone gallery in order to pick any video file from it and of course it will have some name I mean this option so that the user can see icon can start image and then padding edge inserts dot all from all sides it will be at and the text that we want to display for the op first option will be get video from gallery let's apply some style on it so the font size for this will be 20 so this is our first option okay simple dialog option now let's just copy paste this next one we will have is for the camera and then we will have a cancel button also so the second one which is for we can say capture video or you can say make video make video or capture video with camera like the phone camera of course make video with phone camera and this one is get video from phone gallery and the third one will be the cancel button and when the user click on the cancel button we will disappear the dialog box so we can simply say that get dot back make sure to import get dot dot so yeah that's it these are our three options now let's just test the app to see if it is working or not of course we have to call this and the user tap on this button so we can call that method which is display dialog box so the app is running now so let's fix this design issue as you know this is a word dialog box so in order to fix this as you know the size of the text is too big for it so what we will do is we will come back here to our method for the cancel button the size will be 12 and the icon for this will be cancel okay similarly for the for this one let's go with 14, 14 okay 12 is too much small let me just show it to you so you can see it as you can see this much is enough this size so yeah then after it we have make video with phone camera so let's change this to 14 and also the icon for this will be camera underscore alt this one and then for get video from phone gallery also 14 now if we check 
and it looks like this okay so now this thing okay this one again we have some issue with this uh, design you know this is basically a design error so in order to to fix this error for any screen as you know when the screen size is too big then there will be no problem for it okay as it will not cause any error but of course if the screen size let's say if your phone screen size is small then you will see the design errors so we have to fix this okay whenever we have long options like this for example get video from phone gallery and make video with phone camera as you know this is a long text so in order to fix these kind of errors I mean to make our design you know responsive that is it will automatically adjust itself according to according to any phone screen size whether the phone screen size is small or if it is big okay it does not matter so for that purpose what we do we usually uh, like uh, for example for this one what we will do we will add maximum lines so let's say no matter the number of te the text sizes let's say if this is let's say a big text like this you know like this then it will adjust it in three lines that it will convert the remaining text to the next two lines okay instead of causing this uh, design error okay now you will see it how it works okay so this is for the first one and of course we have to wrap this first thing is you have to write maximum lines and then our text widget which is inside this padding we have to apply on it uh, the expanded widget that is before this padding click here and you will see yellow bulb and wrap this with widget and this widget we will change it inside expanded like this okay the same thing we will do on our this second option okay as it has also a long text so in order to make it responsive to work it for any screen size that is it will automatically adjust its size according to the phone's screen okay whatever the size of the screen is so the same thing we will apply here that is maximum lines we will set for it to true to three okay and then we will wrap this padding inside the expanded widget so we can just say expand it like this and now if we run the app okay click on this play button okay to install the app on the phone and if we go here and we click upload new then you can see this text was too much big that's why it converted to the next line for example let's say if we have some text okay if the option is too big so now if I check then you will see that it automatically send the that is the remaining text it go to the next line and it is not causing any error now okay as the maximum line is three so after three lines you know you will like get design thing that is let's say you see three lines now after this if of course there is no big options in a dialog box than this okay this is just for the testing purposes I'm showing it to you so it it must not exceed the three lines as you know we have only this text which is like get video from phone gallery and it automatically adjust now it will adjust itself according to the phone screen size for example the second option was too big so it is it moves the camera text to the next line so yeah it is so simple and so easy this is how you make the design responsive in flutter that is let's say especially for text i'm talking about okay if the text is too big okay if the text is too big then first you define maximum lines for it of course you can max define maximum li lines like 50 100 500 and so on depending upon on your requirements that is what you are developing actually so as according to our need we are just displaying the dialog box options okay so three lines are enough okay and one more thing that you will do is basically to wrap your text widget as you know this text widget is inside this padding that's why we wrap this whole padding widget inside the expanded widget once you wrap it inside the expanded widget then it will start working that is according to the max line so that is the best way to basically you know implement responsive ui design now whatever the phone screen size is let's say if you have a phone which has small screen size so it will automatically adjust the size according to that that is let's say for small screens it will automatically send this phone gallery to the next line that is it will adjust in two lines and let's say if it is too much small like you know like 
the minimum small size then let's say it will be now then it will change the from phone gallery to the next two lines that it that this thing will be written in maximum three lines similarly for this other option as well this is just to explain okay so I hope you get the idea what I'm talking about